March Madness is here. The That's tournament it. starts today, and for our Kentucky Wildcats, it's starting tonight at 7.10 p.m. Eastern in Pittsburgh. Our ABC 36 sports team is live in Pittsburgh. Jeff Picoro joins us now to give us more details about the game today. Hey, Jeff, how's Pittsburgh treating the Cats right now? Hey, Lisa, Doug. Boy, it's great. It's a little bit warmer today than it was yesterday, that's for sure. But one of the cool things about having this round here in Pittsburgh and Kentucky coming here is the fact that, well, this is where John Calipari's from. So he's got a lot of friends and family that he's going to be seeing. But the other thing is two players, Trey Mitchell and Adu Thiero, also are from here in Pittsburgh. So we talked to them about what it's like to come back here and play in front of friends and family. You know, it means the world to be back home in my final year of college basketball and, and on this team and, and kind of being able to have people around me kind of see this moment come full circle for me to, to play Kentucky and um, I honestly couldn't give you a number with how many people that have, have hit me and said that they're going to be there tomorrow. I'm super excited to play at home. You know, I got people texting me uh, who haven't seen me play since I was a little kid telling me that they're coming to the game. So, you know, just like what Trey said, just super happy to be home and be able to play here. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I, I know you're going to put me on the spot here in a minute, but let me say this first. I think this is a very important round for John Calipari. Last year, they were able to win one game against Providence, and then they lose against Kansas State. They've lost... You know, in the SEC tournament, the first round the last couple of years, I think this is huge, not as much for John, but for the fans of the University of Kentucky. Look, they expect championships here. They haven't had a Southeastern Conference championship in a long time, and they haven't had an NCAA championship since 12. So I think there's a lot on the line here. Uh, this game, this evening, I think Kentucky's got a huge size advantage. Oakland doesn't have a player over 6'9 on their entire roster. I think Kentucky dominates on the boards, and they get through this one. And then the second game on Saturday is going to be a little bit tougher. But I think that if this team doesn't make it to Dallas, there's going to be a lot of fans that are going to be pretty upset about this program and where it is right now. Well, Jeff, we're sending a lot of fans your way. Lexington, yeah. Central Kentucky, uh, making a, a road trip Absolutely. to Pittsburgh. And we appreciate Jeff's insight there. Great to have him. Boots on the ground in Pittsburgh.